Let's talk about how beautiful she just puts this. We just need to stick to one strategy. That's it. It doesn't have to be complicated. Pick a strategy that sticks with you. It doesn't matter if it's trend lines like Tori, support and resistance like Nick Sean, uh, indicators, which very similar to Steven from the trading channel, smart money concepts from ICT, <laughs> Raja money concepts from uh, Wix Don't Lie, Raja Banks. It doesn't matter. Just stick to one. Let's listen to what she has to say. Stick to one strategy. Now I understand that is so much harder said than done because there is so much information out there. But let let mine be a representation of how you can just pick a strategy. Now this is key. If you if you do not know who Tori Tori is, she trades trend lines. Her uncle was a a trader who I mean a person a professional trader, and he taught her. Everything that she knows basically said, hey, I'm going to teach you everything that I know. Stick to this. She even like reworded the actual like what it's called. So that way she didn't get caught up in the names of what other people call it. Uh, and then uh, and then that's all she did. She just stuck with it. And here she is a profitable trader. Uh, she's a profitable mentor. She has uh, a, a bunch of other business ventures going on. But hers is a testimony to sticking to one one strategy. The same testimony I can say I experienced when after going through many different strategies, there was one particular strategy with Rox FX. He took us for, I think it was about 28 to maybe it was, maybe it was an entire month, a month. He's like, pay this amount of money. It was a pretty hefty chunk of money. And we're just going to do this one strategy day in and day out. It's very, very simple. It's he had the two candle theory, which I, you've heard on my if you've watched anything from my channel before, two candle theory is something that I still trade now doing that entire month. Like he was he's like, if you really want to be serious about this, you need to dedicate yourself to this. You need to cut out all other sources of influence that could possibly make you question anything about this. So I cut off YouTube. I cut off Telegram, Instagram. Um, Facebook in regards to uh, trading. If if it had anything to do with trading, I muted it, silenced it, left it, whatever it was, shut it down and didn't go back and see it all to include his own community that I was already a part of. Like he specifically pulled a, a handful out and said, hey, we're going to try this. This is what we're going to try. And so I shut that down as well. And we did that for an entire month. And that entire month was eye-opening. So just... Her advice, her experience, my advice, my experience. Let's continue listening. One that hopefully you trust and there's research behind or, you know, trust in a mentor or the person or the community, whatever it may be. I just use trend lines, guys. Trend lines, some support and resistance. We're looking for breaks and bounces of trend lines. I found a strategy that is bare bones, the super basics, requires minimal knowledge to get me to the level of success that I've had in trading. You need a strategy, but it's, it's the dedication, it's the time that you spend mastering it. And I, I think that's, that's the name of the game. If you can put your trust in a system and then master it, it's inevitable. You will find success. That's my TED talk for today. <laughs> Just. She is 100% accurate. Uh, you talk to anybody who is a profitable trader. Don't just look in the comments of YouTube videos and listen to what they say. Uh, I haven't even, I mean, there's two comments on this at this point in time. At some point in time, if you look at any of her channel, any of her stuff, there's people that talk all the time uh, who say you can't just, you can't be profitable just trading trend lines. It's not possible. There's people who actually join her own discord. The the free discord she gives out to, to have a community to come together that trades specifically this strategy. And they come in and they're like, no, that can't be possible. Even though there are multiple people within that that community who are profitable doing just that keeping it bare bones keeping it simple our tendency is to try to overcomplicate the junk out of everything and if we don't understand it we want to try to understand the best we can about everything unfortunately there's so much you can know about trading that really is irrelevant to being a profitable trader and unfortunately, that's the loophole we all tend to go down to. So take the advice. Find a strategy. It doesn't matter what it is. 
Everybody out there will say, okay, yeah, no, ICT, that's the only way to trade. You got to trade the way the banks trade. Smart made concept. That's the only way. Support reason. That's no, you got to use indicator. You got to use algos. You got to use, you got to trade on the higher, you got to trade on a lower time frame. You can't do, find something that jives with you. And it's like, nope, I like this. This brings me, there's a little bit of comfort and peace here. And then work to master it. If you master it, the sky's the limit. Psychology is the biggest element out of every single trading strategy it is. It doesn't matter if you can make the numbers work or if you have the data to back it up. If your psychology cannot handle it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you find a system that wins, wins one to 10 risk reward ratios. You risk a dollar, you win $10 every single trade, but you have a 30% win rate, 20% win rate. I, sure, that is profitable on paper. A lot of people cannot handle losing. 70 to 80 percent of the time they mess the whole thing up this is the human element aspect of it it's like okay well i'll go algos i'm sorry there's too much human element in the market to actually code for that sure you can have some algos that work steadily over time or or maybe they work great one year but not another but you still have to have that back-end knowledge to even know what that even looked to program that and it's just it's way too much work why do all that when you can keep it simple there's a success story right there. I followed her strategy. I took a small account, a $50 account, and all I did was trade trend lines on like seven pairs, seven Forex pairs. I have been doing that since April, traded a dollar or dollar fifty per trade. I am up to 75 bucks. I think I'm I might be sitting at like 77. We can go take a look at this. Uh where are we at? 76 bucks. I'm up to 76 bucks in that account. And so it's like, why? Why make things complicated when you don't have to? Keep it very, very simple. So that's it. That's my TED Talk for the day.